What's up, everyone? Th this is Corey, and I'm going to show you how to play Coldplay's new song, Higher Power. So, you first have the intro. You're just going to pick a palm muted C on the G string 17th fret. All right, then you have the guitar riff played jur jur during the verse. All right, that might seem kind of random, uh, but if you watch my cover, the so my cover of the song next, you'll see ha how it fits. So you begin with a. Uh, G on the B string, A fret. Then use your first finger to bar an F and an A on the G and B strings respectively on the 10th fret. All right, jo Johnny actually uses, I think, a uh, volume swell for that. I don't have that, so I'm just going to strum it. Then you have an F on the B string, 6th fret. Then strum the F and A again. All right, then repeat. All right, then at the end, right before you go into the pre-chorus, instead of the F and A, you're going to use your first finger for a C on the B string 13th fret and your se second finger for an A on the G string 14th fret. All right, then you have the guitar riff played during the song's pre-choruses, bridge, and interlude. All right, so use your first finger to bar a C and an F on the B and high E strings respectively on the respectively on the 13th fret. Use your third finger for a G on the high E string 15th fret and your fourth finger for an A on the high E string 17th fret. I'll play it uh, slowly. All right, then you have the song's three courses, each of which are played dif differently. The first one is the first one is a power chord pro progression. All right, so you're going to begin with an F power chord with your first finger on the low E string first fret, third finger on the A string third fret, and fourth finger on the D string third fret. All right, then you have a C power chord with your first finger on the A string third fret, third finger on the D string 5th fret and 4th finger on the G string 5th fret. Right, then you have an A sharp power chord. All right, you just slide that C down 2 frets. And um, you're also going to take your 1st finger off the A string to strum the open A. And then put your 1st finger back on to that A sharp. And then the F again. C. And then A sharp. So you then have the second chorus.
All right, so use your uh, first finger four and F on the G string, on the G string tenth fret. Third finger four a G on the G string twelfth fret, and your fourth finger four a C on the B string thirteenth fret. You're going to strum the C, but alternate between the F and G like this. So then you have the third chorus. Alright, so you're going to use your first finger for a G on the uh, G string 12th fret, second finger for a C on the B string 13th fret, and your third finger for an A on the G string 14th fret. So strum the G and C, and then the A and C, and then back to the G and C. All right, then use your first finger to bar an F and A on the G and B strings respectively on the 10th fret. And then use your second finger for an A sharp on the B string 11th fret. And then use your fourth finger for an F on the high E string 13th fret and you're gonna strum that whole F chord like this. All right, and that's it. I recommend you watch my cover of the song next to see when in the song all those guitar parts are played. Thanks for watching. Shake it.
everything just to let you know that you can Thanks for watching.